Hey there everyone and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And in this spotlight we are covering the weapon uh, bandolier or bandolier mod. Uh, and this basically adds a way to extend your uh, weapon hotbar past just holding three weapons. Uh, now you may notice initially that uh, there is only three displayed here but it kind of lets you just like scroll like past these even though it doesn't show all of them at once. Um, so this could be useful in vanilla, but this is definitely useful for modded games that add a bunch of new weapons. Because uh, you wouldn't really necessarily need access to all weapons in vanilla, because um, there's only a few, you know, that may be decent at once. But uh, with mods, you can add a bunch of really good weapons. So uh, what you do is you build this item, the weapon bandolier, and it's super cheap, and you keep it in your inventory, and then you right-click to open it. Um, so it can hold up to 10 weapons, which is obviously great. Um, now setting up is a little bit tricky. Um, so right now it's active. Um, I'll deactivate it just so we can see. So if I close out of this, um, you can see I have nothing in here uh, because it's not activated. If we open it back up. Um, so I've arranged the weapons. It's very important that you like put in all the weapons and ammo first before you activate it and then make sure that the correct ammo is in the um, correct place for the weapon uh, because when I, I, I kind of put some stuff in the wrong place initially and then it was like pulling the items out of this and putting them back in here and it was kind of messed up um, so obviously just make sure they line up so I have assault rifle a rifle with uh, you know piercing rounds shotgun with shotgun shells a rocket with rocket launcher flamethrower with flame, flame ammo and then a combat shotgun with a different shell um you probably could use the same but um we just have it like this right so then we hit activate and nothing happens but it will happen as soon as i close out of this because it basically takes over your hot bar as you can see here um it's now assigned so if i hit tab to switch um it's going to kind of scroll through these so the shotgun's here we now go to shotgun and it brings up the rocket is the next one and the flamer and then the shotgun again and then back to this and you can see we're just kind of scrolling through almost like it's on a wheel um, so this is really nice. You know, I, I, I would ideally like it to just expand this and show all of them at once so you can kind of visually see everything that's there. Um, that may be coming as, or something that mod dev can do. This is a very new mod. Um, but I think it's nice, especially if you do like playing with modded weapons. Um, in terms of settings, um, the only one here is per player selector uh, alignment select or sets the alignment of the weapon selector on the gun bar. Um, so you can change this if you want. So if you want this, say, to be left, um, you can see it's now like defaulting to left, which is, I think, what it normally is in vanilla. So I would probably set it to this one personally. Um, and then in terms of tech for it, um, it is a thing you research, but it's very cheap. Just, you know, 200 of red, green military you can get it pretty early on and you'll be ready to go. Uh, that's a mod. Super simple, like I said. Uh, and, you know, maybe some more stuff will come for it in the future. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. If you did, a like is appreciated as always. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and feel free to subscribe. And as always, there is a link as well down in the description to the mod portal page for this mod. And any questions, thoughts, leave them below. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.